The Euclid mission is about to launch. A new telescope will explore the dark side of space. Space still holds many secrets for us. One that has intrigued astronomers for years is undoubtedly dark matter and dark energy. They will become the target of research of the Euclid telescope, which will go into space in a few days. Very soon, an extraordinary observatory will be sent into space to study the dark side of space. The Euclid telescope was designed to map the universe. Its main goal is to understand the nature of dark energy and dark matter by accurately measuring the accelerated expansion of the universe by various independent methods. The European Space Agency announced that on July 1st, the Euclid telescope will be launched into space. Its main task will be to shed new light on the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, which is supposed to fill the universe. One of the most interesting properties of the latter is negative pressure. It is estimated that the universe may be as much as 95% composed of dark matter and energy. Of course, no one expects Euclid to reveal all its mysteries. But astronomers expect its capabilities to help us learn more about how they behave and how they change over time. For now, both dark matter and energy remain purely theoretical concepts. However, they are already needed so that scientists can explain some of the mechanisms that govern the universe. For example, dark energy is called the invisible force that contributes to the fact that the universe is constantly expanding, and the reason for this is the negative pressure mentioned above. Dark matter is also invisible. So how do we know it exists? Well, this can be deduced from the way other visible space objects move in its vicinity. This is because they are affected by the gravitational field of this invisible matter. The Euclid telescope will be launched into space by the Falcon 9 rocket belonging to Elon Musk's SpaceX. Its launch from Cape Canaveral is scheduled for 4.30 p.m. Polish time. The original, carrier, of the telescope was supposed to be the Russian Soyuz rocket. But in the face of the sanctions imposed in response to the invasion of Ukraine, the Russian side refused further cooperation in this regard. The cost of the mission is around 1.5 billion euros. The Euclid telescope weighs 2 tons and its dimensions are 4.7 meters high and 3.5 meters wide. Already in space, it will join the James Webb Space Telescope. Like him, it will conduct observations from the second libration point, second Lagrangian point, L2, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Euclid's capabilities are truly impressive, as it will be able to look into places as far as 10 billion light years from Earth. Consequently, this means that it will de facto be able to look back those 10 billion years into the past of the cosmos that surrounds us. Euclid's work will therefore not only contribute significantly to the 3D map of the cosmos, but will also help reconstruct the history of the estimated 13.8 billion year old universe. Nearly 40% heat-related deaths are due to global warming. More than a third of all deaths due to heat waves in the last three decades are due to global warming, scientists point out. Researchers from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, LSHTM, and the University of Bern used data from 732 locations in 43 countries around the world in their analyses. Their research shows the real contribution of climate change to increasing the risk of mortality due to rising temperatures. More than a third of all heat-related deaths between 1991 and 2018 can be attributed to human-induced global warming, according to a new paper published in the journal Nature Climate Change. 
Estimates show that 37% of, of all heat-related deaths in recent summers can be attributed to the warming of the planet as a result of human activity. The most affected regions are Central and South America. For example, up to 76% in Ecuador or Colombia, and Southeast Asia, between 48% and 61%. Estimates also show the number of deaths due to climate change in specific cities. 136 additional deaths per year were recorded in Santiago de Chile, 44.3% of all heat-related deaths in the city. 189 in Athens, 26.1%, 172 in Rome, 32%, 156 in Tokyo, 35%, 0.6%, 177 in Madrid, 31.9%, 146 in Bangkok, 53.4%, 82 in London, 33.6%, 141 in New York, 44.2%, and 137 in Ho Chi Minh City, 48.5%. The authors say their findings are further evidence of the need for decisive action to reduce global warming. They also indicate the need to protect the population from the adverse effects of exposure to heat. We expect the proportion of heat-related deaths to continue to rise unless we do something about climate change or adapt. So far, the global average temperature has only increased by about 1 C, which is a fraction of what we would have to deal with if emissions continued to rise unchecked, said first author Anna M. Vicedo Cabrera of the University of Bern. Global warming affects our health in several ways, from direct effects such as forest fires and intensification of extreme weather conditions to changes in the distribution of diseases such as malaria and dengue fever. But the risk of heat-related mortality is also rising, and scientists predict further increases in average temperatures. While on average more than a third of heat-related deaths are caused by climate change, researchers have calculated, the impact varies greatly from region to region. Heat-related losses range from several dozen to several hundred deaths per year, depending on local climate change and population vulnerability. However, on every continent, human-induced climate change has coincided with an increase in heat-related deaths, the authors of the study found. This is the largest study on the current health risks of climate change. The message is clear. Climate change will not only have devastating effects in the future, but every continent is already experiencing the dire consequences of human activity on our planet. We must act now, underlined Antonio Gasparini of LSHTM. And the future looks rather bleak. Some scenarios predict that in areas around the equator, future tropical heatwaves could increase mortality by up to 2,000%. By 2080, in Australia and the US, at least four times as many people will die from rising temperatures.